everybody, welcome back to Mother Popcorn. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. Today we're going to be talking about my top 10 dramatic roles <laughs> of the decade. Wait, do you guys want some Spanish drama? Maldita! Como te atreves a robarme a mi esposo? Me la vas a pagar! Me la vas a pagar! Vete de aquí! No vuelvas más! Let's see if we can zip through this video like we did with the last one. Thank you to my lovely assistant for that. Oh, let's go ahead and get on with my number 10 pick, and that would be 2012 Jingle and Chain. This movie almost honestly did not make it on my list. I was kind of like, I don't know. But at the end, I just, I'm just a big Quentin Tarantino fan. I just freaking love him. He has such a crazy, out there, brilliant mind. And honestly, like, I would love, 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 love to work with him. Like, for whatever chance, somehow we're walking down the street and he's somewhere here in Dallas and he happens to pass me by. And he's like, I think you'll be good for my last movie. I would say yes. I would love to be in a freaking Quentin Tarantino movie and I would love him to, like, kill me in some, like, weird dramatic way like i don't need like i want guts i want brains out i want blood i i want it all you guys uh we get jamie fox we get christoph Waltz, who i absolutely adore and then of course leonardo dicaprio who doesn't love a good leo movie i mean this movie is just so like star packed if you are definitely a quentin tarantino fan you're going to really really love this movie moving right along to number nine and that is 2013 the wolf of wall street another uh leonardo dicaprio Gabriel film uh, we do get Jonah Hill in this one Jonah Hill was actually in Django Unchained as well he had like a smaller role and honestly the one thing that always stands out to me about this movie is uh, Matthew McConaughey and he did only have a small role but really stuck out to me and Jonah Hill has really proven that he is not just a comedic actor but also a dramatic actor I believe he got nominated for an Oscar in this movie i think so i can't remember i know he got his first one with moneyball pretty sure him and leo i believe both got nominated for this movie let's go ahead and move on to number eight and that would be 2015's the revenant another leonardo dicaprio film the one that got him his oscar finally very well deserved oscar um tom hardy he's the villain in this movie moving right along number seven that would be 2017's Three Billboards Outside of Epping, Missouri. This movie was nominated for an Oscar. Frances McDermott won her Oscar for this film. Did Sam Rockwell. One thing that I really, really like is when uh, Frances, it was when she was talking about the uh, priest molesting the, the little boys. And I remember exact words that she said, but she basically told the priest, fuck you, like get out of my house. This is um, a drama, but it does have some comedic uh, tones to it as well. With that said, let's go ahead and move on to sixth place. And that would be 2000. 13's Her and this is a movie that stars the very talented Joaquin Phoenix. This movie was shot beautifully. It was done beautifully. Joaquin Phoenix plays Theodore who is a very like mindful, very fragile, sensitive guy who actually writes um, kind of like love letters. I think it is like I think like for the like Hallmark. Is it Hallmark? the cards that you buy for people you know i believe those are what he writes uh well he ends up getting very fascinated by a new operating system whose name is samantha kind of think like a very more advanced suri and alexa samantha is like way more high tech like you can actually literally have conversations like if you're talking to an actual person and it's not very like computer based I mean, at the end, they kind of end up forming like a relationship. Like he literally ends up dating his operating system. From everything on my list, I think this is the one that's a little bit more on the weirder side than all the other ones that I have. Um, in a good way, though. I mean, it's really, really interesting. It's really, really good. Oh my God, you guys, we have made it to my top five. But before, of course, I give those to you, we're going to go ahead and go through some honorable mentions. Nightcrawler was actually one that I was going to have on my list, and I kind of took it off for Jingle Unchained. What do you guys think? Did I make a good 
decision or was it like horribly done get out was one that i was kind of like i'm not sure if i want it on here or not all right you guys top five coming in in fifth place would be 2010's inception yes another leonardo dicaprio film this is actually yes this is the last leonardo film that i have on my list so in case you're like why well, is everything on there leo everything on my list does not have leonardo dicaprio i am a fan but i'm not like a hardcore fan like that and this film i oh, so so good like wow i can literally rewatch this movie so many times um you get within a dream of a dream of a to go get some secrets and and i mean not even knowing that you're in this dream and then it's kind of like is this reality or not like sometimes i'm just like am i an inception like where's my little chingadera to know if my stuff is twirling oh, come and inception me <laughs> I don't know what the appropriate word is, you guys, but I'm calling it an inception. So let's move on to my number four pick, and that would be another 2010 movie, Black Swan. I know a lot of people are like, really? What? What is this? Again, they're my list. There are no wrong lists, you guys. We just all have different opinions. I haven't said that in this video yet, so please do not be nasty in the comment section below. Film is very subjective, so of course we're going to disagree, but, but there's just no reason to be nasty in the comment section. Just comment what you believe are the top 10 dramatic films of the decade. Trust me, I am not gonna judge your list. I'm not gonna say, wow, you were right. That's like a better list, you know, cause your movies I may also appreciate, but to me, I wouldn't classify as the top. Otherwise they would have been on my list. Unless of course I forgot about it, which I guess wouldn't be a good thing. But Black Swan starring Natalie Portman, which got her an Oscar and Mila Kunos. This movie is so dark, it's so beautiful, it's so twisted. But there at the end when she finally just let free and she literally just like lost it and really became the black swan, it was just like, wow. Like I think that's what got her her off with that. Number three, which would be the movie that came out this year and that is Jojo Rabbit, you guys. I absolutely love this film. It's going to be on the top 10 of the year. It's so great, you guys. If you haven't seen Jojo Rabbit, I full on recommend for you guys to see it. It's like a whole kind of comedic take to Hitler. And uh, the director, Taika Waititi, I hope I said his name right, he's playing Hitler. And the way that he, the direction well, that he took to play this character, mind you, he is a figment of the imagination of Jojo. He, he was like a straight up like Nazi, like he was ready to kill Jews. Little did he know that his dear old mama was hiding a Jew girl in the uh, walls. And once he found out, he really like, once he really got to know the girl, kind of changed on how he felt about the Jews and just changed overall his own beliefs. It's such a wonderful story, you guys. It's Coming in in second place would be 2014's Grand Budapest Hotel. Gustav, who is the concierge of the Grand Budapest Hotel, when one of his lovers ends up dying, he ends up basically inheriting uh, this priceless painting, which then kind of brings him to being like the prime suspect of her murder. And then um, him and his little protege the lobby boy are just kind of like going around and trying to figure out things and then at some point they end up in jail and it's it's a lot of fun you guys it is like um it is a drama like crime but it also has some uh comedy in there so we have made it you guys to my number one pick and that would be 2012 life of pi you guys oh nobody nobody better say nothing about this movie you guys like seriously like don't touch my life of pi the ship got hit by a storm and everybody died, the whole family except for Pi and a small group of animals. All the animals basically kind of eat each other and then the tiger eats some of them. I mean, it's like a whole thing. But at the end, it really is just Pi and Richard Parker trying to survive and get rescued. One of my favorite uh, scenes from the film is possibly when they were on like this one island and they thought they were gonna be okay, but at nighttime, this island just kind of like attacking itself. It's really kind of creepy. Pi, you know, ended up noticing that Richard Parker was just like on the boat. Like he, he knew something was wrong with this island. Like <laughs> he's probably like, we got to go. Like if he could row the boat or he was gonna die out in the ocean, he probably would have just like gone out. But he just stayed his little butt in that uh, boat for Pi to come to his senses so they can like 
split. So this is my top 10 drama films of the decade. What did you guys think? I know we're gonna disagree. Again, don't be nasty down below. Let's play nice. It is Christmas after all. Actually, it's Christmas Eve while I'm filming, but when you guys see this, it's going to be Christmas. With that said, before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to get a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. Everybody have a wonderful, safe Christmas. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye.